Hello YouTube. I decided to install turbo gauge in my car. I did some research. I could buy analog turbo gauge which can be connected to intake manifold with plastic tubing. I could buy electronic turbo gauge but this only had LCD display which looks kinda 80s. I didn't find what I was looking for so I decided to make my own turbo gauge. So for starters I had to find pressure sensor. I checked some Arduino modules which were not suited for my application. There was no tube which I could connect my intake manifold to. I checked some professional pressure sensors, some of which were $50 and more. Too expensive for my project. So I thought about it and went with automotive pressure sensor. Almost all modern cars are equipped with intake manifold pressure sensors. This can be found in non-turbo cars as well. I did some research and found a line of Bosch pressure sensors uh, rated up to 3 bars. That was the way to go. I picked 2.5 bar version as my car only produces up to 1.2 bars of boost. I bought it used uh, which was $10 with shipping. The next thing was the display. I went with OLED uh, as it has good contrast and is much faster than LCD. It was $2.5 from China. The last piece of the puzzle was connecting these two. I went with Arduino which was $2. So how the pressure sensor works? It has three pins. You supply 5 volts, connect the ground and you get output on the third pin in the range of 135 volts to 4.8 volts. You can measure it with one of analog pins of the Arduino. Interesting fact is the sensor measures absolute pressure. When we describe turbo boost we think of pressure above normal, which is typically one bar. So if your turbo produces one bar of pressure, the sensor measures two bars. This is useful as you can measure vacuum in the intake manifold as well. My sensor can measure uh, minus uh, 0.8 bars up to 1.5 bars. I used Adafruit library for OLED display. The display is 128 by 64 pixels, which is enough for pressure and some more data. I will add Dallas temperature sensor as well in the future. So what are the advantages of using Bosch pressure sensor over analog gauge? OBD Bluetooth or LCD gauge, you may ask. Uh, first of all, Arduino is fast. All it has really good refresh rate when compared to LCD, and Bosch pressure sensor has response time of one millisecond. Analog sensors are fast as well, but are much less accurate. OBD Bluetooth has huge lag of one and a half seconds. So any values you see on your smartphone are values that are one and a half second old. You may notice blinking as the OLED refreshes itself. This effect is not visible with naked eye. I recorded some 120 frames per second footage of OLED refreshing. It displays all the digits human eye cannot see. LCD display is much slower as it takes more time to change crystal state than it takes to turn LED on and off. This is still a work in progress, so I will publish source code with part 2 of this video. I am designing a case which I will 3D print and install in my car, so don't forget to subscribe and watch it installed. Thanks for watching, bye!